as Henry Winkler would say in the movie, my favorite movie called Waterboy, Gatorade. Nothing like some ice cold H2O Gatorade. Hey, how you doing, so cold? On this blazing Friday afternoon here in the streets of downtown Richmond. What's up, the wipe your face? All thanks to Rhonda Sneed. A lot of people dehydrated out here. We found a couple of people passed out. She's the founder of the nonprofit Blessing Warriors RVA. Rhonda is one heck of a lady because she's out here helping the people. Wow. She does a lot and does a good job at it. You're welcome. Here you go. The number one volunteer in the whole world. Out Richmond. here every day, every night. You're welcome. And Sneed is well known and cherished by Richmond's homeless population. They expect us all the time. They know we come out. Especially was hot. Helping people cool off in the dangerous heat and trying to fill in the gaps of what Sneed believes is a lack of resources provided by the city government. People are going to die out here. The city has a cooler station, so they say, but how are they going to let these people know? What they need to do is have more shelters for people can stay at night. They need to put the homeless people in permanent housing. On Friday, the Richmond City Council released its priorities and requests for Mayor LeVar Stoney's office in addressing the homelessness crisis. These recommendations are going to be the footing for the foundation, really, for a very, very uh, great and effective system. Presenting camaraderie, Councilwoman Stephanie Lynch and Chief Administrative Officer Lincoln Saunders spoke with CBS 6 on these initiatives. We've had a dedicated group of folks um, and working in homeless services as well as out of um, my office. By July 31st, councilors want the city to put an additional $700,000 into the Family Crisis Fund, which means direct cash for folks to pay for rent and hotel rooms and deploy services for case management, specifically with the focus on families and children. That type of um, intense case management um, is so, so important to really walk alongside of a family as they move through the journey of getting back to housing stability. The council also wants the administration to present a report on a year-round 24-7 shelter, something that's been talked about for years but still hasn't been implemented. We have a lot of fantastic providers who provide year-round shelter in the city. The challenge is just that the demand is greater than um, the, the current availability of shelter beds. While Saunders says Richmond is working with its partners to expand capacity, he wouldn't say whether the city is developing its own facility. So it's still unclear if the city will actually get its own. We're, we're very close to, to having a finalized set of recommendations and we'll have them ready for council in September. Do you feel like the city has acted with urgency on addressing this crisis? I believe the city has acted with urgency, but I think it speaks to the challenge um, of the problem. As some in our city have nowhere to go tonight. She does a very good job what she does. They're thankful for members of the community who look after them. All right, see you tonight. And now the city did open cooling stations today, like the one here behind me, but they closed at 6 o'clock. To read more about those recommendations from the city, go to our website at WTVR.com. In Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.